Hey, this is Osias. Creating personalized messages that make people react? It's not as easy as it looks like. It's not just about adding hello John and that's it. It's not just about adding personalization tags all over your message. Creating personalized messages that work means creating messages that make people react. By react I mean downloading, calling, booking a call, buying, and so on. I'm about to share a few ideas that will help you create better personalized messages that basically will stick to your customer's heart, mind, and then to your customer's pocket. The key concept here is understanding how audiences work, but from an individual perspective. This is, generally speaking, in marketing and in advertising, we usually think about the general audience, that target audience. But if you want to create personalized messages that work for your personalized videos, personalized emails, personalized physical letters, personalized emails, etc., you need to go a bit one step further. And that's from the general audience, your target audience, with certain characteristics, you need to bring it down to the segment. Okay? From that segment, you need to bring it down to the buyer persona. These are individuals that have specific characteristics across your target audience okay you can think about them as john jennifer and mike john architect jennifer um lawyer mother of three and mike developer with certain characteristics okay you, you think about their concerns about what what moves them to 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 buy something or to stay with a product or with a vendor to um, when is that, what, what are their concerns? All those things actually matter. But then you don't stay there in the buyer persona. You go the extra mile and bring it down to what I call the augmented buyer persona. What's an augmented buyer persona? An augmented buyer persona is when you combine that specific buyer persona we were talking about plus or mixed with the specific characteristics of the individual you want to target, okay, They're the specific context of that individual based on the data you have retrieved or that you are able to retrieve about that specific individual. That equals the augmented buyer persona. So why is an augmented buyer persona that important? An augmented buyer persona is extremely important because it helps you create messages that are contextualized and then individualized for that or to that specific individual. The more contextualized and individualized a communication is, the better the results, because you are able to target that person's concerns, intentions, desires, budgets, etc., based on that particular individual's needs. All right, so let's see this with an example. Let's say we have John, and John is, let's say John is a business person that wants to travel to Zanzibar. The reason why John here is traveling to Zanzibar is because he has a business trip to Zanzibar. John here is flying potentially in business, paid by his company. He needs Wi-Fi. He needs, he needs a desk to, you know, to continue working there. He needs a good hotel that would allow him to have different meetings with other professionals and uh, he might be staying one or two days and that's it. But then, let's say we have the same individual, John, that now is traveling, traveling to the same place, to the same location with his wife, Mary. If we only think about the buyer persona, we would still be talking or thinking about John. But even if we are talking about the same individual here, John business person and John business person that is traveling just to have fun with his wife, that's totally different. The budget here and the budget here are different. But also the products and services he's willing to pay for here and here are also different. 
the purpose of both trips are different. All right. So if we stick to the buyer persona, we are basically missing so many commercial opportunities. The message that maybe works here, if you send a personalized email to John, hi John, might not be enough at all here. Because again, the context of these two individuals right now changes. Now let's add another variable here. Let's talk about John, St. John, plus Mary, St. Mary, plus Christopher, their child. So now, St. John here, St. Mary here, but their context, their concerns, their budget, the things they are willing to pay for, and so on, are totally different here and here. Same with John. Again, if we stick to the buyer persona, we are going to miss so many opportunities here to create messages that make John and Mary, John and Mary react. And by reacting, we might be missing basically upsetting opportunities, cross-selling opportunities, even reviews. And in the end, we're talking about money either now, tomorrow, or the, fo or, or the following day. Okay, so understanding John's context here, here, and here, it's crucial to create personalized messages that actually work. So if you want to create personalized me messages that work, you need to stick, you need to go, you need to do more than just the general audience, the target audience. Again, you need to bring it down to this segment, but also you need to bring it down to the buyer persona. But then, if you want to be effective for real, you need to bring it down to the aumented buyer persona. That aumented buyer persona, again, is this individual's particular buyer persona, okay? whatever information you already have, plus the new information you constantly get as you interact with the lead or with the customer or the, even the prospect, that will lead you to individualized marketing, which is when you can actually use the information you have access to to translate it into something that adds value in the communication with your end customer or lead, viewer, etc. All right. So, Take that into consideration next time you create personalized marketing messages for your personalized emails, personalized videos, personalized landing pages, even physical letters. Think about the context. The, the way to make personalized marketing work is when you think about the context of the particular individual you are reaching out. Take care.